Jorge, you're here. Now listen, you are an expert when it comes to videoing and certainly taking still photos underwater. So tell us where we've evolved from as well as where we make mistakes. Okay, so first off, you have your GoPros. Mm -hmm. This, your very general public can start with, you know, anybody can use them, you can mount them anywhere. To use them for spear fishing, diving, any active water sports, mountain biking, et cetera, et cetera. They're very inexpensive and they're wide angles, so you can point them in whatever direction you want and you're gonna capture what you're trying to capture. All right, speaking of capturing, this is something that captured my eye as soon as we came in the studio. Tell me about this and all the lights and why. So all the lights and why. This is for, you know, you're outgrowing your GoPro, your GoPro and you want something on the next level. Um, you got your lights because as you go the deeper you go, you lose all your red lighting and you know you have red filters and stuff, but the lights help bring in that natural lighting. So your snapper looks red 40, 50, 100 feet down, whereas opposed to well, your eyes looking at a silver fish because there's no red light. Now, obviously, this is a massive underwater housing, big lens, wide angle, yes, George? Yes, you want to stay wide angle because you want to uh, minimize your water distance between you and the fish. All right, so tell me about this photo that you took for us, George. So the photo is, um, you know, it's that in and out shot, call it a 50-50. Um, this was in the Sailfish 400. Um, so this is where the big dome comes into play and you're just not gonna get that with your GoPro. So this is going above and beyond, you know, that next level, if you will, of photography. Now, um, shooting video, you know, it's a lot different when you trade in the spear gun for a, a camera, because yeah, when there's sharks in the water, you can't defend yourself, you, you got a camera in the way. And you know, you're not gonna let it go because it's gonna sink to the bottom and there you go. So I mean, you, know, you wanna have a zoom lens so that you can pop in a little bit and get those tighter shots for the smaller fish. I mean, that's a 13 foot hammerhead, but it doesn't look all that big. But then you have your smaller, your smaller grouper, look bigger with the wide angle lens. And, and that's, that's, a, that's a five and a half foot Joe Niebuhr. Yeah, man. <laughs> so that way you can still get all of him in your frame. That's right. And you know, you're still, you know, three feet away from him. So George, you know, back to the GoPros, certainly they make a lot of different applications. You can use these now on your spear gun. What else are they doing? And, you, you can mount it on your mask now. You can, they have chest mounts, multiple spots on your spear gun. They have the brand new one that's half the size of this. So it's like, you know, the technology is getting better, the cameras are getting smaller, and you, there's more places where you can put them. Well, speaking of getting better, I don't know anybody that can get any better than you. Thank you so much for all your Thank hard you. work you do for us.